back to the channel, Smith Shakes Custom Baits. Rick Smith Shake here. Um, today I'm going to start prepping for a trip to uh, Valentine National Wildlife Refuge, which is, I think, about 30 miles south by southwest of Valentine, Nebraska. It's in the Sand Hills. Um, there's supposed to be some pretty incredible fishing there. Um, I read, I, I believe it was Field and Stream. When I was in high school, I read an article about, about the fish in there, uh, about how fantastic it was. And ever since, I wanted to go. I didn't know it then, but I, I just started my bucket list. Um, so this in a couple weeks here, I'm actually going to get to do that. Um, so you can see I have a bunch of molds sitting here on the table. I'm going to shoot two videos today, um, edit them, upload them, and schedule them for release. Uh, so there won't be any fish pictures this time. Um, you notice I have a wireless microphone on. I believe we have the issue with the with the external microphone resolved. In this case, it was a bent data pin in the charging port of my phone. Um, no idea how that happened, but um, Apple wanted six hundred ninety nine bucks to fix it. Like holy crap! Well, a, a local repair shop did it for two hundred plus tax. So that's still kind of a holy crap moment, but still at least it's fixed and. And at least I didn't have to give an extra 500 bucks to Apple to fix it. So, <laughs> um, but, um, so hopefully that's, that's done. Hopefully it's, it's, hopefully this, now the sound is the bomb. Um, uh, but for this video, what I'm going to make is I'm going to make some two and a half inch jerk baits. And I think I'm going to add, well, if I have enough plastic, I'm going to add in, um, some five inch jerk baits. Um, but I'm also going to make some, uh, some swim baits in American Shad. So we'll see how this works out. Um, as for how, if I have enough plastics already. Um, I'm just using remelt for that today. The, uh, the next video I'll be using remelt and probably some, um, pro probably have to make some, uh, some more stuff too. But for the American Shad, since I'm not making it on camera today, um, I'll put a link in the description to the video where I did make it. You guys can see that. Um, I don't know how to put the link in the video itself yet, but I'll figure that out soon. Um, so I can do that. That's pretty cool when people do that. I just haven't figured it out yet. Um, so uh, let me finish cooking the plastisol and we'll, we'll get started. All right. So the plastisol is nice and hot. Let's go ahead and I'm just going to pour it. Oops. I guess I need to pull this down first. I'm going to go ahead and pour it into the, into the injector here. And there's a little bit more of the whitish color than there is this one. And I will probably have to make a little bit more off camera just to make sure that I have enough. Because I don't think this is going to be enough to shoot all three molds twice. Um, Oops, this one is not all the way in yet. There we go. Oh yeah, there's significantly, there we go. There was significantly more in of the, of the whitish color. Here we go. Here's our first one. Second one's full. These uh, swim baits don't take a whole lot of plastic individually. And this, uh, those little jerk baits won't take much either. So we'll see how we do, see how this works out. Of course, since this is a laminate, I can't use any of the spruce. I can't remelt that. Well, you could, but it probably wouldn't turn out too great. <laughs> see here and you know what we might have enough here to do more than one shot Jeez. 
she's starting to freeze up. Okay, I think the rest of the sprues are okay. All right. Yeah, see, that's already, it's already freezing up in there. So, but there's probably quite a bit in the injector still. So, uh, let me let that stuff cool off and, and clean out the injectors and, uh, we'll see how these turn out. Okay. So I've already started reheating the plastisol. Um, and it looks like there might be enough to shoot these three molds one more time. But let's go ahead and give these guys a, open these guys here up. There we go. There we go. This mold here is actually from Lurecraft. I think it's, I think the people who bought them out are, um, oh crap, I can't think of the name offhand. Um, but this mold came from Lurecraft. Um, oh, I got one foot that didn't fill all the way. I didn't, probably didn't hold pressure long enough because uh, there was plenty of plastisol. Um, but I'm going to keep that one. Look how well that laminate. See, this one filled out all the way. That lamination. Beautiful. Beautifully crafted. Yeah, with that one exception, it looks like uh looks like we're doing pretty good here. All right? There we go. Got to make sure I look to the viewfinder and not over the. For those with that one exception of the of the bad foot, I have to say, Bob's your uncle. Okay, let's take a look at the jerk baits here. Oh, guess what? Those did not fill out. The, I think the injectors. I don't know what that was, that noise, but whatever. Um, so I think the injectors were uh, froze up already on that one. Because this one, this mold filled out pretty good. Well, it filled out just fine. And all the baits turned out great. I mean, they laminated perfectly. Um, now, this mold here is from Enforcer Baits, uh, Enforcer Bait Molds. Uh, and it's just shot beautifully. You know, I have to say Bob's your uncle on these. And on the other one, it may be Bob was your aunt or something. I don't know. Um, let me get that plastic all heated back up, and we'll try shooting this again. All right, let's go ahead and open up these molds. See if these worked out any better than the last batch did. Oh, and look, we have every one of the tails is full. And all the all every one of those baits laminated perfectly. Every last one of them. Look at these. Oh yeah, see? See these? filled out perfectly as well. And I suspect that they laminated just beautifully as well. And they did. Look at that. Bob's aunt got chased away. Bob's drunk on those now. Okay. Now... I went ahead and reheated the plastic salt one more time and shot these two cavities. This one might not be right, and this one here might not either. We'll see. Oh, wow. I think they... I think we have six good baits. We do. Look at this. Oh, 
pull the sprues off. That'll help. This mold here, you have to be a little bit careful taking them out, taking the tails out anyway, the feet, I guess is what they are. Um, yeah, look at these. These, Every one of these laminated just perfect. They all filled out properly. Um, and I'm glad I shot it, shot those last two cavities again. Heated them back, heated it back up because there we go. That's... That's beautiful, All right? And I'm gonna try fishing with these things up at the refuge and see how they see how they work out. Yeah, okay, well, that's it for this video. Um, we had a couple of mishaps, I guess, screw ups, whatever. Um, things didn't work out quite as planned, uh, which is okay. That that happens. Um, <laughs> I didn't end up with quite as many of the little jerk baits as I thought I would. Um, I do have a little bit of that plastic left, but probably not enough to, to, to really make a difference for what I wanted. So, so I'm just going to leave it. Um, but if you liked what you saw today, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Um, share, uh, all those things, uh, help the channel grow. Um, I don't know if any of you have been paying attention to the number of subscribers. But um, I'm getting close to 640 now, um, which is pretty good. I mean, it's very steadily, I'm steadily gaining subscribers, so I must be doing something right. And uh, hopefully the, the volume here is, or the, the sound volume here is fixed. Um, I think it is. I have an app on my phone that, that told me, that told me, <laughs> that told me um, that this microphone is working. It's not using the internal mic. So that's a good thing. Um, and hope you, if it's working as well as I think it is, you probably don't even hear the fan. Or if you hear it, it's, it's really minor. So, um, so I'm, yeah, I'm really looking forward to finally making it out to Valentine National Wildlife Refuge and doing some fishing. It's going to be the hot, one of the hottest months of the year to go fishing, but who cares? I'm going to be out there fishing. I'll have my hat. You know, I have plenty of water. Um, I have to make sure I take the right kinds of snacks because I'm diabetic. I'll eat breakfast and then take some, take some food with me um, and some snacks just in case, some sugary kind of snacks. Um, and, uh, yeah, this should be a good time. I'm really looking forward to it. All right, folks, until next time, tight lines, calm waters, and God bless.